Now, let's discuss the disadvantages of treasury bonds. Treasuries do make a safe investment, but like any other instrument, they have some handicaps. For investors who are looking for a quick return, this falls way below that expectation. The first disadvantage is the low yield those securities offer. Yes, they give you peace of mind, but don't expect it to be like winning the lottery. The rates of returns are different for each type of instrument, but they're basically similar when it comes to overall returns. Even if you hold them until maturity to cash out, the proceeds will typically be low. Other investments that carry bigger risks than treasury bonds offer greater returns. That's how things work in the financial investment world. So, if you're adventurous when it comes to your money or are very keen on getting higher returns on your investments, treasury securities would sit at the bottom of your priority list, and you'd probably need to consider corporate bonds instead. And if you're in a hurry to cash out, treasury bonds will take you at least 10 years before you can redeem them. Interest rate risk is another thing to take into consideration. Treasuries are not immune to interest rate risk. The fluctuations in interest rates affect them. What's more, the degree of volatility increases as the instrument nears its maturity. When interest rates go up, the prices normally go down. Another disadvantage is what we call call risk. Some treasury securities have call provisions that allow the government to retire them before the originally stated maturity date. The government does this during times when rates fall. On these days when we see the U.S. inflation getting higher, there is another important risk, which is inflation risk. Inflation risk is what happens when the value of your investment declines because of the increase in the inflation rate. Although this risk is real for practically all investment instruments, it's a much bigger reality for treasury instruments since they generally have lower rates. For example, if your treasury bond has an interest of 2.84% and the inflation rate reaches a 3.5% or rises by just 1%, your investment is losing. Technically, the real value or purchasing power of your investment and earnings has declined. There's no question, though, that come maturity date, you'll get the principal back. However, it will be worth a lot less in terms of monetary value. Of course, there's a way to lessen this problem, and that is through TIPS, or Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, which adapts to the current inflation rate. Or you may invest in mutual funds that also invest heavily in TIPS. Credit or default risk is another common risk, which is right for all types of bonds. All investors need to know that all bonds carry the risk of default, where the issuer cannot pay the interest or principal on time. The U.S. government remains to be the strongest government in the world, but there were times that it shut down for a period of days. If you are a serious investor, you should monitor current financial and political events and pay attention to national debt issues, GNP, Treasury yields, falling of the U.S. dollar, and other signs that may indicate a default risk is imminent. Last but not least, restrictions and penalties. If you redeem Treasury securities before their maturity date, you might incur some penalties. At best, some restrictions may limit what you can or can't do at certain times. That's it for now. On our website, you can find more posts as well as calculators and other financial tools. Considering investing in the U.S. Treasury securities? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube to get the best free financial educative videos.